Hey, in today's video, what we're going to talk about today is something that everyone probably doesn't like to get every single year. That is your dreaded property tax bill, right? The property tax bills are about to come out. So today we're going to talk about how to protest your property taxes. We're going to get started right now. Hey everyone, I'm Nick Good, your favorite Dallas-Fort Worth real estate agent. Again, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, first off, thank you for watching. Go ahead, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below and leave us a comment. That way you get notified when we release new videos just like this. Look, today we're gonna talk about property taxes, right? With everything that's going, um, on in the real estate market right now, in the first two months of 2021, the median price of single family homes increased by over 12%, right? So look, that means with home values increasing as quickly as they are, that means property tax values are going to come up, right? So the good news that is that if you are a new homeowner or if you are a homeowner that hasn't seen your property taxes really shoot up through the roof yet, in Texas, uh, every single year that if your property tax value goes up by over 10%, the good news is that if it's your homesteaded primary residence, that gets capped at 10%, right? So anything over that 10% threshold does not count towards your property tax value that you have to pay. But let's talk about uh, how to go ahead and protest your property taxes successfully. So the first thing is you will receive in the mail an appraisal notice showing your new uh, property tax value. If you feel that your value has increased by too much, right, and it truly doesn't reflect uh, your home's value, then what you will need to do is this. First, connect with a real estate agent, me, by the way, go ahead and connect with us here at the Good Home Team. We've got some great software and some great tools to be able to help you get uh, sold data in your neighborhood, right? So a re good real estate agent will be able to get you that, that previous year sold data so that you can compare it to your home. And then remember that when property taxes come out, an appraiser has not been inside of your home, right? So they don't know whether your home needs repairs. They don't know if you've got worn out flooring or an outdated kitchen or outdated bathroom or if the windows are older. Maybe you've got uh, some repairs that just need to be done, that honey, do, honey to do list, right? So go ahead. It's time to build your case to get those property taxes lowered. So what you want to do, right? So you're going to take the sold data that the real estate agent, hopefully here, someone from the good home team sent to you and go ahead and start taking photos of the items in your house that need to be repaired or need to be upgraded. So that then when you present your case to the county, you'll have evidence to be able to show why your home is not worth the value that the county thinks it's worth, right? So now when you are protesting your taxes with the county, depends on what county you live in, you may, a lot of counties now are allowing you to protest your property taxes online. Really quick and easy, just upload everything um, and, and put the suggested, where you think the suggested value will be, their appraisal review board will check everything out and they will either come back with a yes or no, um, with, with if it is a yes that they agree with you, then they'll come back with an amount that they think it should be lower to. And if you're in a county that still requires you to go in person to an appraisal review board, you'll just bring all your supporting evidence, right? So if you don't want to do this work, by the way, this sounds like too much. There are some property tax consultants that you can hire. Now they will take a percentage of the savings that they grant you, right? So it is really easy to go ahead and just do it for free um, to go ahead and get all that information. So, um, but, but think of it this way. Right? Your, what are your odds of winning and actually getting your tax, your property tax value lower? Right? A recent 2020 University of Texas at Dallas study of almost 80,000 Dallas County homeowners found that one out of every two protests won. Right? Those are great odds, by the way. And the average savings, the average taxable savings was around $600. So look, it is worth it. Right? Even if they say no, you went through it, you went through it, and the worst that they can do is say no, or you win and hopefully get it lowered by at least $600 in, in taxable savings. If you are interested in learning how we can help you, right, how we can get you the right information to guide you to protesting your property taxes, go ahead, email us back, 
call us and shoot us a text. However, the best method of communication is we'll be able to reach out to you, get some quick information, your address, your email address, um, and your phone number. That way we can get you all the required information needed. So again, if this is your first time watching, thank you. Go ahead, comment, hit that subscribe uh, button down below, reach out to us, let us know what we can do to help you lower your home property taxes.